Today, I publicly declare my May 2014 goals. Hey, it's Ryan Even from RyanEven.com, and I'm going to publicly share my goals for May 2014 in just a moment. But first, let me just tell you, this public goal setting stuff, I've only been doing it since March, but it's really been working out well for me. I've really pushed myself to do some things a little bit out of my comfort zone or things that I knew I wanted to do but just had never really made the time for. The big ones being in March, I wanted to uh, get more active on my blog. I had been hardly ever posting, so my goal in March, one of them was to blog at least two times per week, which at that time it was still challenging, it was still pushing myself, but yet it was easy enough that I could actually achieve it and uh, get that win to move forward into the next month, which was last month, which just ended, which was April 2014. And my big goal in April was to release a new video every single day in the month of April. And here was the really cool thing. So I did 30 videos in the month of April. And instead of just uploading the videos to YouTube, which would have technically satisfied the goal, since all the videos were actually marketing tips or marketing related, it also made sense to post those videos on my blog. So out of the 30 videos, 29 of them were posted to my blog and one of them I skipped just because it was about a little time limited one day offer. So it didn't really make sense to put it on the blog. So in the month of March, going back to March, I had a goal of doing two blog posts per week in the month of March. Well, in April, I was doing a new video every day, and then I took those videos, posted them on my blog, and then, of course, when you have a video on a blog, it looks kind of bare, so I also did a blog post to go along with each one of those videos. So while in March, it was a uh, challenge for me, and I had to push myself to do two videos per week, in April, I released 29 new blog posts on my blog, and then of course 30 videos in total. Well, here's the thing, I don't think I would have been able to do those 29 new blog posts in April had I not the previous month in March gotten back into the blogging and uh, started with those two blog posts per week. So my point is that smaller win in March by achieving those March goals kind of rolled in to allowing me to achieve a bigger goal in April. And in fact, beyond my goal, my goal was just to do the videos. I ended up doing the videos and the blog posts. So one thing you can do when you're setting your goals, whether you're setting them publicly or not, is you can think about your longer term goals and then make sure that the shorter term goals that you set are something that's going to help build momentum for you to ultimately achieve the longer term goal. And you can even start small to build some confidence and build some momentum to ultimately lead you in the direction to achieving your big goal. So let's say you've been planning to write a book for 10 years and you have the idea and you just haven't gotten it done. So maybe your one year goal would be to write that book. Well, your monthly goal or your weekly goal to be to write the first page. You wanna get that first page done, just one page. Then the next month, maybe it could be to do 10 pages or to complete that first chapter and then you get momentum and pretty soon you have that first page done, you have that first chapter done, you're now writing, you're now in that flow and hopefully you can build that momentum and to start writing more and more and increasing that goal every month to ultimately achieve your longer term goal. Of course, with my goals for this month, I'm not doing that at all because I actually have a pretty light month plan with my actual May 2014 goals because I'm doing some uh, traveling this month and uh, actually in May and June doing some traveling. So I want some uh, things that I need to do, but they'll be easy enough to achieve so I can still go out and not be all stressed out um, on vacation. All right, so the first of the goals is to tweak some Facebook campaigns. Um, if you've been advertising on Facebook, you probably already realize that it's important to always keep your ads fresh because uh, people can get a little blind to them if they've seen that ad, uh, you know, a hundred times before. And since I was so busy recording videos last month, I kind of neglected my uh, Facebook campaign. So I need to go and freshen up the images and just freshen up the those campaigns. I've also let my inbox and um, my computer, just the files I've downloaded on my computer, I've let that all build up um, since moving here the last few months. So I want to go and clear my inbox out, get that to zero in Gmail. Also move all the files that I've downloaded on my computer, keep the ones I want to keep 
Um, I usually store everything on a cloud so I can access it on multiple different computers that I use. So that's something I want to do. And then I want to make an adjustment to one of my funnels, particularly to the entry point of that funnel try out and uh, test out a couple of things I've been uh, thinking about there. So that's all I'm committing to for May. Of course, if I have more time, I'll figure out some more things I can do to be productive and drive my business forward. So if you're new to goal setting, particularly public goal setting, don't feel like you need to go all out and just push yourself that first month. You can keep it fairly easy. Now you should still challenge yourself a little bit, but it should be easy enough to achieve that you can get a win that first month by achieving all the goals that you set out and then take that momentum forward into future months. You don't need to push yourself so hard that first month that you fail. You don't need to, you know, shoot for the moon right off the bat. All right, so that's all for this video. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if you haven't tried the public goal setting yet, give it a shot. In this nation, it should be our goal that in the next decade, we put a man on the moon.